From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Bangladesh, a country in Southeast Asia, is traditionally a male-dominated society. But a new breed of women are fighting for change. 30-year-old Noreen Tabasum is one of them. She's successful as a distinguished lecturer in international relations at one of Bangladesh's most prestigious institutions, Jahangir Nagar University. But for many women like her, all is not as it seems. It began happening in 2008. It is sexual harassment, and it began, she says, at the university with her boss, Dr. Kafi, chairman of her department. Dr. Kafi would say, if you fail to satisfy my needs, you will not be able to get a permanent contract. As of now, it is still not permanent. He even inferred that I would have to engage in sexual favors. Sexual harassment is common throughout Bangladesh, experts say. Especially in the workplace. Noreen says she complained to the vice-chancellor several times. Even her husband lodged complaints. But Dr. Kathy's actions only became bolder, she says, calling her at home. He wanted to come to my house and ask me if anyone else was at home. When I replied that my mother-in-law was inside, he suggested that I send her away. I asked, why should I do that? And he said, if you don't send her away, how will we be alone? Sarah Hussain is a prominent human rights lawyer in Bangladesh. Women's sexuality is very, very strictly policed and controlled. And women are seen as sort of praise for sexual attacks. And she says there are no existing laws to protect women against sexual harassment. But progress was made in May 2009 when Bangladesh's High Court approved a set of guidelines against sexual harassment in response to a case launched by four female students at Noreen's university against a different teacher. These guidelines, which require all workplaces to guarantee victims' anonymity and to establish mixed gender committees to hear complaints, are now mandatory throughout the country. Empowered by the new guidelines, Noreen enlisted Sara Hussein to file a case in the High Court. Cases like this one and incidents of stalking young schoolgirls prompted a push for a new parliamentary law that would define sexual harassment as a criminal offence, says Minister of Women and Children's Affairs, Dr. Sharon Chowdhury. Government uh, has a total stand of uh, zero tolerance towards any kind of violence against women. So there is no scope to uh, engage in violence against women or in this kind of offence and get away with it. Dr Chowdhury hopes her government, which is a party to CEDAW, the United Nations Convention on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, will pass the law currently under review. As for Noreen, Months later, a verdict was finally reached. She won. Dr. Kafi has been demoted. If I was not able to remove him, at least he was demoted from his position. Noreen says while it's a victory, she still feels tension at work, but she believes the fight was well worth it. Girls and women must come forward. If they don't do this, it will continue. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.